Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today we're actually going to be building a tank that can support a Gustav cannon. What is that? It is a 32 and a half meter long barreled gun that is 800 millimeters in diameter. This thing is going to be absolutely insane. So, let's go ahead and get to it, shall we? Okay, so since we know that the gun itself is going to be 32 meters long, Long, we're gonna go ahead and have to make this thing really really long as well obviously that makes sense let's go ahead and do this real quick and also get rid of the fenders real quick as well because we sort of need to from there we're gonna make the tracks as wide as possible because we sort of need that as well so hopefully all will go well here all right, so the longest we can actually have these is 12 meters. That actually leaves 30, oh no, it leaves 20 meters. And that is quite a lot, to be honest. But what I'm gonna do now is actually fill these so they look a little bit more normal and we'll go from there. All right, so there we go. We've gone ahead and made them a little bit bigger. We're also going to make them thicker and, I guess, longer as well. Let's go to, like, 150 on these guys. There we go. Actually, that looks a little bit too small. Let's go with 250, I guess? There you go. That looks a little bit more normal anyway. Good. So, these guys are going to be very much separated by, I don't know, let's say 4 meters. That seems like a good amount to me. Good. Okay, so what we're going to do now is actually bring this out sideways, bring this backwards a hell of a lot, go ahead and take it forwards a hell of a lot too, and I guess actually we'll extend the front bit slightly differently. We're going to send this out by itself and... I don't know, I guess I'm going to send this all the way across like that, maybe? Sure. Uh, we're going to do the same thing at the back, and we're going to join them together. Now, I'm not just making the Gustav Cannon. That is not what I'm doing. I'm going to build something in my own style, uh, with the same sort of cannon on it, if that makes sense. So hopefully this works out, hopefully it looks nice, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it will. So we'll extend these guys all the way out to the sides like this. And essentially what I want to do is make some triangles out of this. Okay, so if I can, let's go ahead and extend both of these guys up like this. They're actually going to go up really far into the sky. What I want to do then is bring these guys in. Oh, what am I doing there? Whoa, what is going on there? Okay, I don't know what that was, but sure. Oh, I actually grabbed the center. You can do that. I completely forgot. Anyway, we're going to do that. And we're going to do the same on this one down here. Very nice. So far, so good. They look very similar anyway. Okay, so from there, we're actually going to go ahead and try and join these guys together. Just sort of... Oh, <laughs> this is going to be quite tricky to do, isn't it? Uh, no. Okay, that's working. Yes. Come on. Get them together. That's all I want. We're so close. I mean, they don't have to be symmetrical. That's actually fine. But it'd be cool if they were somewhat symmetrical. There we go. They're pretty much joining right there. Uh, and that allows us to actually see that this one is not actually as wide as that one is. So if I just do this, we should be in a very, very, very good position. I just need to move it slightly sideways. There we go. And I think we're good. All right. So far, this looks really dumb, but it's fine. All right, so from there, we're actually going to go ahead and drag these guys backwards quite a lot like so. Very nice. And we're going to do the same thing at the back going forwards. And I want them to sort of be equidistant, uh, which is quite nice. I can actually merge these together if I'm careful. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And I'm going to have to do it all the way around, which is fine as long as I can get it right. Do this one as well, obviously. There we go. And now I'm going to have to do the same thing on this side, which again is gonna be annoying. All right, there we go. Okay, let's do this one really quickly. Merge that, and do this one, merge this. There we go, so we should all be merged now, which is awesome, uh, and we can continue building. Although, now that I think about it, these should be above the tracks. Okay, so what's nice about this is we should be able to just extend these guys out sideways like that, and then on the inside, oh no, <laughs> I've already bolted it up. This is not good, not good. I can't grab this piece right here. Okay, so that's on the inside, this is on the outside. Right, whatever, that's fine. All right, I can't grab this piece because of this. Okay, grab that one and grab this one and just do this. There we go, that looks a little bit more useful. Although I don't know what's going on here. 
Okay, so I had to rebuild it, but we are back in this situation right here. So, what I've done is made it skinnier, because I figured that made sense, and I've built these guys back up, which again, I feel like makes sense. So now what we need to do is come up with a platform at the top, where I guess the little tiny people can run around, and we need to add the gun to that. Okay, little tiny people platform, let's go ahead and extend this guy upwards just a little bit like so. Uh, we are actually going to go ahead and try and join these guys pretty much together like that. And I'm actually uh, going to go through this and bring this backwards like so. Which, you know, makes sense, because on the real one, they reloaded it from the back. Alright, so from there, what I'm going to do is extend these guys out backwards like this. I will extend this one upwards just like so, and I will be attaching that straight onto here, sort of, just like this. Honestly, that is fine. It sort of works, and I'm happy with it. Yes. Okay, so in this situation, I am kind of feeling like I shouldn't have actually attached these two together, but we're in the situation now where they are attached together, so that's just gonna be it. Uh, which I guess is fine. We'll just add the gun to the top of this. Alright, let's do it from these two pieces right here. So extend these guys into the air just a little bit like that. Bring these guys in together, and I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and send it forwards. Send this one backwards slightly, and I'm gonna angle both of these to be angled as well. Yes, because triangles are strong. Yes. Oh, that looks crazy. That looks very crazy. Okay, so let's go ahead and get ourselves a turret. Yes, smack it onto there. Obviously, we are going to want to add a really big cannon to this, so I need to figure out how big this thing can actually be. So let's go ahead and slap that on there for now, and we're going to load it up. Well, actually, the closest we've got is 1,000. So we're going to try and get one of those on there. Okay, so in order to do this properly, we need to angle this guy forwards like so. Excellent. I'm going to go ahead and make the diameter of this very tiny. And we're just going to go ahead and stretch this across. So from here over to the other side. It's very annoying to build things when it's like this, but I'm sure it's fine. Uh, from here, I actually want to go ahead and build this out forwards a good chunk. There we go. And from here, we're actually going to go ahead and build it out backwards a good chunk too. I would like it to be rounded if I can. So should we try and do that? Oh. Uh, ooh. Ah. That's like directly on top of the... Mm. <laughs> it's like directly on top of the other one. Oh no. Okay, right. I can't actually... I can't move this one properly. If I did all of these, maybe I could. So if I grab that one... And this one, I might be able to, but it's sort of like it's it's just wrong, isn't it? Nope, that's not what we want. I mean, I, is that what I wanted? I don't know what I'm even trying to do here. Uh, so I want this to come in a little bit. And then obviously I want this one to go back the other way a little bit. So I think I was doing the right thing anyway. Oh, that's really dumb. Anyway, what I'm going to try and do is make this a little bit more round. You know what, that's probably round enough. In the grand scheme of things, that's probably fine. Right, so what I'm going to do from here is actually go to this guy. And I think I'm going to move it in just a tiny touch. There we go. That does mean all of this actually has to be moved back that way. Oh, this is weird. All right, I don't really know when this is going to get in the center, but it's close. I think that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, from there, what do we want to do? I guess I'm just going to go ahead and add one of these guys. This is going to be our cannon mount location. Let's see how big it actually looks on there. We're going to go with 1,000 millimeters. There you go, and it actually sort of fits. Okay, interesting. Let's drop the thickness down to begin with, down to like 50. There we go. At the end, it's going to be like 50 as well. There you go, and this thing is going to have to be 32.5 meters long. And that's it. That is that is actually 32.5 meters long. That is actually insane. Uh, I don't mind the way this looks currently, actually, so far. So what I'm going to do from here is actually decorate this bottom piece a little bit more and try and fit around somewhere within this vehicle. That's what we need to do next. Alright, so does one round actually already fit in there or not? Let's have a look. Yes, we can actually fit one round in the gun. That is madness. Yes. Okay, right, cool. So now, I guess I'm going to go ahead and decorate it real quick. We'll get it driving so it can actually move around. And I'll add a bunch of details. And then we'll fire it. 
All right, so this is what we currently have. I haven't made it drive yet, but I've given it railings all the way around. I've given it some ladders on here so you can actually climb up in, and honestly, I think that looks okay. It does look a little bit strange that these guys are just sort of floating here, but that's how it is. So, uh, let's go ahead and give it a bit of a driver's seat, I guess. Give it a gunner's view, and we'll go from there. So let's say you drive it from just here. <laughs> sure. And uh, the gunner's sight is actually in the center, so... Yeah, that's inside the actual gun. We can actually fire this thing right now, but... I don't know if you'd want to. Look at that! Holy moly! I mean, it looks cool. Obviously, I would have liked to have deleted the floor in between these, so this doesn't go through the ground, but honestly... That's okay. I'm still impressed. Not gonna shoot it yet, though. All right, cool. So, uh, we are making it drive. Let's go ahead and give it a hell of a lot of these. Uh, and the engine is gonna go down here, obviously. So, let's go ahead and do this uh, a million times. Actually, if we put them sideways, it'll look better. Yeah, nice. All right, cool. Let's just keep this going, and uh, it might end up looking good. I highly doubt it, though, but we'll see. We will see. All right, keep it going. There we go. And then we just need some exhausts. Honestly, I'm thinking of just adding these two on the back, and that's it. And there you go. We got our exhausts. We got our engine vents, and that's it. That's all we need. However, this thing still cannot move, and uh, actually, we don't have a Commander's Coupler yet. So I'm thinking we actually attach one of those onto here, which would be interesting. Make it much bigger, and that can actually be the breach for the gun. Well, not quite the breach, obviously, but you know, you know what I mean. Now right, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So when you want to reload the gun, you put the round in there. It's not actually a commander's coupler, although it sort of is. Anywho, uh, let's go ahead and give this thing some lights because that could be interesting. Go ahead and go wide, and go tall. There we go. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and shove those up there. Okay. Right, we still can't really drive, but that's okay. So, go to engine. We're going to go ahead and make it as big as we possibly can. There we go. And drive! Yes! A drive! Oh my, why is the cannon going all the way off to the side? That's not really something that I want. But it does sort of work. Which is so weird. Alright, so I'm allowing it zero and zero, just so that it can't actually move from side to side. I don't really want it to. So, yeah, that's the thing. Anyway, I think we're actually ready to somewhat shoot something. And that's kind of all I really wanted to do with this thing. It's not going to have any armor or anything like that. But, um, <laughs> yeah, this is just interesting. Okay, so there are a few Tog 2s out there, and they can shoot us. Alright, so they, they will kill us if we aren't, yeah, careful. That guy just died, and I am about to. How? Yeah, I don't know how to aim this. <laughs> that is one of the things that we do need to worry about. Also, it needs to be APHE, obviously. Right, hull. Do we have a hull? A hull... The hull one, sure. All right, let's see if we can even shoot one of these. Oh, God, I can't see anything. I think the gunner's sight needs to be located somewhere else, honestly. Because this ain't it. I can't see anything out of this thing. Oh my goodness. Okay, right. There it is, there's a hole right there. Aim and, I guess aim up, up and fire. I need to, it needed to aim higher. This is hard to shoot. Okay, so here we have a tank that doesn't have a crew in it, obviously. Let's go ahead and drive this thing forwards, yes. We have to turn sideways in order to actually aim this thing, which is utterly ridiculous. And we will aim, obviously. And we will fire in uno mementos. Three, two, one, fire! Oh yeah, I mean, that wasn't as deadly as I wanted it to be. But it was still deadly. King Tiger has one shot, one chance, one opportunity, and it took it. All right, let's do that again. King Tiger, uh, let's go ahead and do it. If it shoots me, I die. If it doesn't sh uh, shoot, oh, it missed. It missed, it missed, it missed. All right, we need to aim and fire really quickly. There we go, yes. So, I mean, it one-shots everything. It's massive, obviously. But yeah, that's cool. That is really cool. Obviously, it's extremely simple. I know, there's not very much detail on this thing at all. But I just kind of wanted to build something that looked somewhat like like it, I guess. Um, 
yeah, it's interesting. Also, the fact that it can even move is is amazing. So there you go. Cool. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know in the comments down below if there's anything that you guys want to see in the future. And we'll go from there. Just before we end, though, I am actually going to go ahead and give it a livery. Like, what if it was, like, I don't know, camouflaged? I don't really like it camouflaged, actually. Maybe snowy? Snow theme does make more sense. You know? It does make more sense. But it's still weird. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Goodbye.